Hello amazing people, welcome back to a new video guys. How are you all doing today? I hope you're all doing great and I hope you are generally fine. Today's video is going to be a quick one. I'll show you how to make this beautiful and very stylish Zara cap, okay? It's yeah, super easy guys. If you want to see how I did this, then stick around with me to the end of this video as we go through this together, okay? Yeah. So here um, is the beautiful prints I'm using, of course. And this is a leftover piece from um, the outfit I made in my previous video, um, a booboo with a front slit and also a rough at the lower part okay it's a very trending and um, booboo -boo outfit right now and very very stylish as well super easy guys i'm linking it up in the description box so in case you've not seen it then you can also go ahead and watch it okay yeah so um the measurement i'll be using for this i'll be using um a length of 17 inches okay 17 inches in length then i'll be using a width of 25 inches so it's actually my head circumference the head circumference i'm working with is 23 so i'm just adding extra two inches of allowance for the ease and also for the hemming allowance it's important to add that extra inches there so i'm also going to be using them um, this plain fabric so this is um, um, a doll face um fabric okay so i'm using this for the lining and also i have here an interface and this is called warden so this is the medium face part of it you can use the thicker one if you want but i'm using this one and this is six inches in width and 19 inches in length so i'll be folding it into two the reason why it's medium face so if you're using a very thick one they might just use them um, only one inch okay so at the end of the day the width is three inches by 19 inches for this um interfacing okay yeah so um what i'm going to do now is to um place this on my fabric over each other so i'm going to be placing the lining um over it making sure that the right side is facing each other so i'm going to be making a stitch okay so i'm just going to sew three parts here um the longer part okay which is um um the width part of either 25 inches but then i'm also going to join the sides and i'll come back to show you what it looks like and so here i have it i've gone ahead to do that and i've also given it a very good price so you can see how this is looking right now so the next thing i'll be doing now is to create what my center point where i'll be attaching of my interfacing in between okay yeah so i'm going to be folding my fabric into two i'll fold into two and then locate the center point okay yeah so i'll also do the same thing as well um for the interfacing as well so locating the center point i'm going to indicate it from the inside okay yeah but for a better uh, view you could have just maybe just um not so the size just like i did maybe to give you a very wide space to work with okay yeah so if you can work that way then it's fine so um locating that point you can see me also doing the same thing for the interface and i'm just folding it to two remember i said the length for um the width for this my um interface was 19 inches okay and that of my main fabric is 25 so that's how it's meant to be it's not supposed to be the same length um um, with the fabric itself so you can see me locating those center points and i'm attaching it together you can see so you're just going to take your time and carefully position this properly you know so that um, you have it sitting directly on that hemline okay yeah so i'm going ahead to use my pin to you know hold this down properly okay yeah so the reason why i said um for you might just not have joined the sides okay so if you have not joined the sides then it would have been able to spread it very well then you know to position it properly but it's okay still so you can see me after making sure that um i have it sitting properly at the edge okay so i'll go ahead what and also you know hold this down with a plane just to make sure that um i have it um in place okay yeah so once i'm done the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to be making a sew on it so i'm going to be sewing very very close to that my um interfacing okay yeah so very very close it's going to be so tight and that you can't have it you know moving around okay yeah so that's what i'm going to do i'm making that stitch a very straight stitch then you see how it looks like and so this is it guys i've gone ahead to make that like you can barely very see this especially if you're using the same color of the thread so if you look at it from the um the back side you can see how this is looking already so the next thing is to make my fold right now i'm going to give this a curve shape because i want to cut this out so you can see from that edge now i'm just going to what make a curve shape doesn't have a particular pattern just create that curve effect okay and i'll go ahead what and cut this out so once i'm done then the next thing i'm going to do now is to what go join it so you can see how this is what you should achieve looking like a semicircle i'll just go ahead and stitch this all through making sure that you also lock up the edges the rough edges so i'll go ahead and do that right now 
So once I'm done, this is what I have. I've gone ahead to sew it, okay? And of course, I've cleaned up the edges. So if you flip this to the right side, you'll see how, you know, this is looks. Our cap is already coming in shape already. Yes, so the next thing, of course, will be now to create, um, you know, the main cap effect so that you can have it sitting pretty on, uh, on the hair. Yes, yeah, so you can see this is what it should look like. So here, I'll go ahead and use my needle. I've gone ahead to thread this, okay? So so the first thing I'm going to do now is to start making my stitch from that hemline. Although we'll be doing this from the back side, but first of all, I need to indicate the start up point. So you just move up one inches or 1.5 inches from that start up point. Okay, so I'm doing one inches. Okay, so I'm going to first of all make my first stitch from the inside. You can see me, I'll be pulling out my thread. Okay, then I'll go ahead what and also lock it up. Um, back inside as well okay so doing this now i can flip it back to the right side okay so that i can um continue okay so what we are trying to do now is to create a gathers effect so this has to be done on the inside okay yeah so just very very close to that hemline i'm just going to be picking this and dragging it so you use your needle to pick as much as you can take okay yeah so just to pick and sew that is just what we're going to do right now to get to the very very edge okay yeah so you just have to you know patiently do this see how i'm moving my thread and uh, my needle i'm moving this in and out in and out as i take as much as i can you know take then i would um you know drag the thread take as much as i can you know and i'll keep doing this and keep dragging out my thread so as you do you keep pulling this out so you keep doing this like i said so you get what to the very end after that then you can now you know pull out everything together okay yes so this is it guys super um easy there's nothing difficult here at all just take your time um in doing this here so once i get to the very end now they can go ahead and make my final pull you can see this so so I'll just do this. You drag it so much and you can now have your thumb. You can hold this firmly. Then at this point now, what you'll be doing is to watch, run this um, stitch all over. Just run it as much as you can. The idea is to make this to be um, to well tightened up so that when you're wearing your cap, you don't have it all, you know, loosened up and all that. Just keep, um, you know, sewing. Um, take it as much as you can in and out you can do this like twice or even three times and also it's very important to make sure that the thread you are doubling the thread so that you can have it you know you know um, thick enough because doing this if it's not thick enough you can even have your thread cutting along the way i hope you understand yeah so that's just basically what i'm doing here once i've um been satisfied with um the stitch i'm sure that i've gotten a very good um tight up stitch then i can now go ahead what and uh, you know cut this out so it can see i've gone ahead to make my final tie here and i'll just go ahead and tighten this up and of course cut this out so guys we're done here i'm telling you this we're done so I'll just flip this to the right side and you can see our zara cap has come into shape like this is beautiful guys this is it guys we're done here this is all beautiful i'll just quickly place this on my mannequin so that you appreciate this look better i'm loving this already and here you have it yes guys our zara cap is ready so at this point you can um embellish this with whatever you want you can also make a bow or whatever just to accessorize it the way you want so that's it guys on how to make this beautiful zara cap thank you so much guys for joining me today if you find this helpful please don't forget to like share and if you've not subscribed to my channel please don't forget to do that as well thank you so much guys see you on the next video bye